then, so then what, what are the risks involved in us resetting ourselves to one, identify who we really are, appreciate who we really are, and start building a foundation um, we'll that we everything. can use to set, set a vision and a direction for ourselves? What, what, is, what are the risks? Because now, where the world is at now, yeah. I don't know if we, <laughs> if no, we can like, do this. The risk is losing you can, everything. You can, you can be global, you know, and have a global mindset and still know your culture, mm. you know, like you can participate in the global conversation. So be aware of it, obviously, and be informed on it, mm. but still know yourself because you cannot add anything to a conversation if you don't have anything you don't have of your anything, own. Yeah. Um, and if we don't have a history or we've not learned even the effects of what colonization did to us, for mm -hmm. example, I think that should be a class that should be had. You know, every class should understand that, you know, your parents or your grandparents or your great grandparents, they went through this and this is how they were treated and this is how it affected them. And there's been studies, I mean, we've done studies, like there's a million and one studies on what the effects have been. But we don't want to heal as a nation. Hmm. Don't we want to move past these things? So if we don't have like, like you were saying, we have to have an idea of where you want to go, where, what you want to achieve, what should Ghana look like in 10 years? Has anyone sat down to think about that? Or in 50, how, how, like Nkrumah did these things. He's mm -hmm. like, okay, we are planning a 50 year or 100 year program, whatever it is, and these are the steps to, to follow. We keep having government changing mm -hmm. and everyone comes and has a new agenda. So it's like four year, four year, eight years, four years, eight years, depending. Uh, you can't really build on it, that consistent change all the time. You know, we don't have things that are set in stone that no matter who comes and goes, it's we're carrying forward like that agenda. Like having like a national agenda, regardless exactly. of whatever yeah. divide yeah. you we belong to, you just have that, to... Really so know. like if Ghana really wants have. to see itself looking a certain way within, you know, the next 10 or 20 years, what are we doing the year one, year two, year three, year four, <laughs> you know, and have like checks and balances to see if it's is, is, is there an issue of classism, you know, playing a role where the upper Chileans want to enjoy... You know, um, that classism again came from colonialism because it's a exactly. system that was put up because right. of that system. So right. once you start to get into the mechanisms of these things, mm. you're not scared of them anymore. You understand them. You can see them from the inside. But we don't even we don't even think of that even being a conversation. You get me. You know what? You know what I struggle with. Um, I don't know if you've seen this on the internet or on social media that you know um, the youth should take over. The youth should take over. The youth should take over. But um, there are fears that the youth may be worse. I mean, yeah. take over what? Take over, like, some of these conversations or yeah, political yeah. government and stuff yeah. like that. No, I mean, we should all be involved. Right. We should all have a voice. Right. But they usually take over. Come on, they don't have the experience to take over. Yes, yeah, so, but, but the fear is we are, we are crying for the youth to enter these offices, it's enter too much these of a places. It's responsibility. Responsibility. Um, so, so, how, so how do we prepare the youth to get into these places and do the right things? Because... We've seen how even from the SRC, you know... You know um, what children do? They learn from what they see, right? Right. So if you don't change, how are your children going to change? So the change should the come from the top. The corruption that is already yes, it's existing. Every, it's going to be recycling. It's recycling. Same, it's, um, no, it's every, not the top. Every parent, every older person is responsible. If yep. you go somewhere and you want a service in any government office, you are more inclined to expect that you have to pay a bribe than not. Mm. Mm. I went and to that's the norm. And that's mm. the norm. Mm. And we are continuing to push this norm, even when some government agencies are trying to change that. Because mm -hmm. I've been to some places where they've like, no mm. more bribes, like, we're changing policy, we should do things properly. I went for a document, they told me, come this day. I went and I got it. And my mom was with me and she's like, oh, haven't you given the girl something? I'm like, for uh, what? I'm like, you are the kind of people that uh, are continuing this system running because you feel... <laughs> It's not possible that you got something and you didn't have to give something. Right. <laughs> I, 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 said that, I, know I, I said to you that, um, you know, at DVLA, at Passport Office now, yeah. things are so well done. Yeah, really well. But when your license expires, the first thing you think, I bet you know somebody will run up for me. I want them by afternoon. Yeah, I did that quick, you know. Yeah. It,